uh, hi, I'm Sarah Dindu. So uh, I currently work at Noonam uh, as a mach- uh, ML engineer. So it's a uh, uh, bat- lithium-ion lithium ion battery analytics uh, platform. <coughs> so uh, today, I, I, the talk that I'm going to take is for a 15 minutes talk is that uh, why we use n minus one as the denominator in standard deviation calculating sample standard deviation or variance. So uh, because uh, from get go, that why n minus one is quite it stuck with me for quite some time. Why use n minus one? So uh, if you just look at the if we just look at the uh, all the uh, equation for the standard calculating standard deviation as well as uh, variance, uh, that is where most of the doubt comes into mind. That why use n minus one instead of n? Because uh, from simple from the initial get go that. Uh, calculation to calculate mean for a population we use n but when you go to calculate standard deviation we have to divide it by the de- denominator has to be n minus one uh, depending uh, on the sample size so <clears throat> that is where the primary uh, notion of the Bessel uh, correction comes into picture so Bessel correction works on so, I mean works first uh, uh, standard deviation and variance so <clears throat> so why n minus one is I mean, to, uh, uh, without uh, long uh, uh, proofs, the un- the understanding is that <coughs> to calculate a sample mean, uh, sam- uh, sample st- uh, standard deviation sample and uh, sample co- uh, variance, uh, the idea is that uh, the population mean and the sample mean would be quite uh, would be quite uh, different depending on the sample size, sample size from a population size. So, for ex- for example, if you have sample mean x and uh, population and uh, population mean as mu uh, the issue would come is where the sum of squares for sum of squares for variance standard deviation would be higher uh, in case of population mean and it would be lower in case of star sample mean <clears throat> so the the issue would why this this would become why this situation would come is uh, in while taking the samples out of a population uh, all the all the sample values all all the uh, the observations of that sample would lie closer to that uh, sample mean instead of the population mean and if the did uh, or the population is quite large then that would make the sum of squares quite large and that that's where the uh, bias would come in uh, estimating standard deviation and as well as variance of the sample so to fix that issue the easiest way to do is uh, multiply multiply or at least uh, uh, multiply the actual estimator by uh, n minus n minus by n n so that would actually remove the by remove the bias and give an unbiased estimator for both standard deviation as well as uh, <coughs> uh, variance so the next part comes is when to use it because uh, uh, from the start of, from the start of the talk i've been talking about uh, using uh, b- bessel correction for sample very vari- sample standard deviation and sample variance so in cases that uh, as a uh, thumb rule if uh, the sample if the sample size is quite small compared to the population that is when the sum of square division with the sum of square would be quite severe and in those scenarios uh, it can be f- quite easily visible that the estimation for the standard deviation and uh, variance for that sample is going to be uh, quite unbiased so to uh, see how uh, actually how unbiased it is or how much correction factor is needed there's a simple app uh, hosted uh, at streamlet so just two simple uh, screenshot here presented with low sample size and high sample size with the same amount of population uh, with the same population size so one can it's seen that the uh, 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 the deviation between the the correction factor between the low sample size and high sample size is quite big so i can just uh, show the demo if i uh, present from my screen Um, are you uh, uh, on a different screen right now? No, no, I'm on the same screen. One minute. I'm just trying to share the screen. Gotcha. Um, and... Yeah. <clears throat> uh-huh. 
yeah so yeah uh, if you just choose the sample size as same as the default values you can see the uh, correction factor the uh, correction factor uh, would deviate very much so for say uh, with sample size 300 the mean and the mean of the population and mean of the uh, stand mean of the sample is quite uh, different so if you remove uh, increase the sample size all all the way to, uh, towards 1000 then see the uh, deviation factor uh, where the mean of the population and mean of the sample is quite close to each other and uh, the subsequent uh, sample size and subsequent sum of squared errors as well as is reduced so in most of the cases when the sample size is uh, <coughs> sample size is lower uh, that is when sample size is lower that is where the Bessel correction would come into picture yeah i think uh, i'm done yeah um, uh, so thanks i can i am actually uh, reachable over twitter linkedin and uh, uh, github as well so uh, <clears throat> i have included the uh, link for the streamlet app itself as well so if anyone can wants to play around with it uh, so, i mean just to see how much deviation how much correction factor is required uh, i mean it's already hosted in streamlet yeah thanks